investing in commercial real estate at the present time, uh, I think offers investors a very sound return, particularly from an income point of view, which a lot of investors, particularly elderly investors, those that have got a fixed sum, are now looking for with uh, interest rates falling, uh, not rising. Uh, it's uh, still very strong returns coming from the broad commercial sector. Last year has been pretty sound. Uh, the overall commercial, which is made up of office, retail and industrial and hotels, has um, given investors about a 10.5% return, uh, total return, made up of income, around about 7.5% in the balance coming from capital appreciation. Best sector actually has been hotels, which has been about 17% according to the indices, followed by office, which is about 10.5%. Retail around 10 and uh, industrial just under 10. So, they, you know, compared to other forms of investment, they've been very sound. Uh, the, the prognosis for going forward uh, is about the same. We don't expect it to uh, be anything other than, than pretty steady at this time of the cycle. Uh, but there isn't a lot of supply coming into the market across all sectors, so it's, it, it's steady as she goes. I think these days in particular, you look for um, the length of tenure, the, the lease conditions relating to the particular tenants or tenancies that you'll have, uh, the strength of those tenants, location of the buildings obviously and the condition of the buildings vitally important, particularly today because we're moving into a more greener environment so you'll see things got called neighbours ratings, N-A-B-E-R-S, they're very important because that's the energy ratings for the buildings, so the higher the rating the better, better the, the buildings are, uh, but it's that security of income which is very, very important. I, I can normally find value in all the subsectors of the commercial space, um, but at the moment I think the uh, office space is uh, office market is offering pretty good returns. Uh, there's some hot spots. Uh, Perth, you'd be a, a little wary of some of the, the conditions. Here. It's, it's uh, with uh, aided by the mining sector. It's obviously taken off and very high rents, very um, high rates per square metre. So you've got to be a little cautious of that. On the other end of the scale is Canberra, where there's an oversupply and the market's quite soft. So Sydney, Melbourne, uh, Brisbane and Perth, and those uh, sort of in that order, uh, are pretty good. Retail, um, retail's a little soft at the present time, and that's because people aren't spending at the present time, they're paying down debt. Uh, so uh, particularly after 2008, everyone's become very cautious, so discretionary spend is down. Uh, it's not out, uh, and it's also being influenced by the internet and the impact of that is having on some shopping centres. Uh, I like neighbourhood shopping centres which are food based, convenience based. Uh, some of the big regional centres obviously that you access either through a Westfield or Colonial similarly uh, offer pretty good uh, value. Industrials um, having a resurgence uh, particularly on the eastern seaboard and to a point uh, in extent Perth uh, and that's caused by a move from uh, to distribution, particularly from retail, and there's a, there's a resurgence there and the returns are, are pretty sound. So it's, it's a matter of taking each one of those and then just finding that, uh, that particular asset that you like. I mean, we bid on a lot of properties, we don't get many because uh, we're a bit hard-nosed about what we pay. Unlisted funds have always served uh, the community well. Um, they have, from time to time, had bad practices uh, creep in and we've been through a period of that. Um, some funds have done very well over this period of time. Others that have had excessive gearing, excessive fees uh, have really hurt investors. So when investors are going into unlisted funds, they've really got to look at the quality of the management. They've got to look at the governance. They've got to study the fees. They've got to have a look, very hard look at what it is that the fund is buying. Uh, those, co those other things that I mentioned earlier, the lease covenants, etc., are vital. But I think it's a very good and safe place to be if uh, you live by a couple of fundamental rules. AREITs have had a pretty torrid time uh, over this recent past. Uh, they were inflicted with uh, a lot of debt that needed to be repaid. It wasn't really their fault, and I will defend them. Uh, because um, they repaid around about 16, 17 billion dollars back to Australian and foreign banks, really when there was no particular need to, except the banks didn't have the money. So private investors that have used AREITs as a very sound source of income were very badly affected over this period of time and are very suspicious of this sector. I personally like it. Uh, you buy very, very good assets um, at, uh, at the moment, discounts to their true asset value uh, and it's a good source of solid income with resultant 
uh, capital appreciation, which I think will come over time. So once again, you've got to be cautious and look at uh, who you're investing in. Um, but uh, they've served their public well until this most recent past in 2008 through to 2010, and I think they'll recover in due course. They won't get back to where they were, that's, that's a, a different era, but they will certainly uh, offer that sound income and, uh, and I think reasonable capital appreciation. We're planning to bring out our first of our income series. Uh, we've secured a brand new office building at Sydney Olympic Park, which is under construction at the present time. Uh, fully leased to a major international tenant for 10 years. Uh, that'll be yielding around 7.75% uh, and about 100% tax advantaged in the first couple of years due to depreciation. So that'll be on the market in the next month or so. Uh, and we think offers particularly self-managed super and, and other private investors a very sound, safe, long-term investment um, in A-grade a, a or a five-star office building that uh, is under construction at the present time. That will be followed up by other buildings when we secure them. Uh, I said earlier that it, you know, we, we bid on a lot of properties and we, we don't get them because we're very hard on pricing. Uh, this one is, a, is an exceptional um, asset and we're very proud to be able to bring this to market. More information on Folkestone, you can go to our website, folkestone.com.au. Um, our code, as we're an ASX listed company, is FLK and you can look that up and, and go to the uh, ASX website as well.